Hey guys, we're back with Duel of Champions from Might and Magic, or Might and Magic Duel of Champions, however you want to say it. This is an online card game, much like Tug or Hex, if you guys have been following that Kickstarter, or Magic the Gathering Online. This is essentially a uh, an online version of a collectible card game. It's free to play. Uh, you can pay money if you'd like to get more packs of cards, but you can also play the game in order to get funds to purchase other cards. Now, in there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can play. There's the campaign, there's ranked duels, you can purchase tickets to take part in tournaments, and then there's practice. So, one way that you can do things is you just go through the campaign, right? So... Here you go through with one type of deck or multiple kinds of decks and you can defeat everybody. If you defeat each campaign uh, one time with each deck, you start getting decks of cards. So you, you can actually get packs of cards from completing the campaign in addition to money and experience points. Oh, by the way, if uh, you want to join us, or especially me, since I've been playing this game uh, a lot lately, it's sort of taken the place of Tug as my game to uh, unwind to. Uh, just click on a link below, and that'll get you set up with um, a new account, some extra gold, some packs of cards, and then just look for me. Unfortunately, because of the way that I joined um, the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, my user ID is Mighty552246. Hopefully soon, um, Uplay will allow me to rename myself. Uh, the last I saw, they're actually working on something like that now. Soon. Anyway... So, I thought what I'd do this time is kind of go into a specific part of the campaign, and that are that is the puzzles. So in these puzzles, as you defeat each of the different campaigns, you get to unlock a puzzle. And the puzzles, you get 1,000 gold, 200 XP. It's, all, it's a pretty decent little thing. It kind of teaches you a little bit about the game. So in here we have Cassandra. Right, or this is Zardok, Caller of Valor. So he can target creature gain swift and charge till end of turn, draw a card, and then your normal stuff that's going on here. Over here you have Cassandra. This is what her pu this is her puzzle. So she's kind of offering you uh, something, or offering you a way to to get some stuff. So we have this warrior seraph, this wolf marksman, this wolf praetorian. Now. The thing that is kind of obvious, I guess, for this is that this thing has two attack. Right here. So this is retaliation attack, this is normal attack, this is health points, and this is cost, and then the uh, pool cost. So I have six that's going on right here. So because she's only got five points left, it, I think that what I should do is summon... The blood collar. Unfortunately, the blood collar here is five. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack with. The harpy. Because if you can tell here. All right. So I'm actually not sure what happened there. So I'm going to increase my might. Then I'm going to cast this guy. So. I'm going to attack. And we win. So what happened there is that. Each of the things that died, I gave bonuses to other creatures on the table. So all I had to do was really increase the damage that that creature would do to five so I could kill it. And so while I would normally have to attack and try to kill things, I wasn't going to kill the two things on the top. So I had to summon that other guy so that I had to kill the two monsters on top in order to get my the creature that could attack uh, a way to kill this person in one hit. So... Um, I spoke a little bit about, and I showed last time, uh, a little bit about buying cards. 
There's also these pre-made decks. So these pre-made decks are about 50 grand. Now, each time you go up in a level, at least for the levels that I've been, you get about 20,000 gold. So between levels, you probably get about 10,000 gold if you're going up maybe to level 2 and 3. So these starter decks, these are the, one, the decks that you uh, could have chosen when you started the game. So I have about 100,000 gold. I own... Uh, the Inferno deck, and I also own the Academy Starter deck. I think what I want to do is I want to look at, um, I guess, more of the... I'm trying to think if I want to do the Stronghold or if I want to do the more Control deck. I think I'm going to try the Stronghold deck. So what it says here is that under the Stronghold flag, you will crush your enemies with enraged armies and quick attacks. Using Earth and Air magic, unleash the wrath of Mother Earth and Father Sky and smite all in opposition. So, you get a whole bunch of cards, and this is just an easy way for you to get cards at the very beginning of the game. Each of these decks gives you a pretty fantastic card, and the Inferno deck is probably the one that's preferred by most folks. Um, this deck is actually from the new set. I'm actually thinking about getting this one. So this is probably more, they call it the Necropolis. So darkness and water. Um, let's see here. Should I go for that or the stronghold? Uh... Oh, these are all basic too. All right. So we're going to buy that one and then hopefully get enough money to buy another one. So let's go back and do some more campaign. So I defeated this guy one time. I need to defeat this person. We're going to pick our new deck, the Necropolis starter deck. And I think that's all I'm going to do for today is play this game and go a little bit more into it. Because it, I had streamed yesterday. If you want to see what the Inferno deck can do, uh, just go to our uh, Twitch page and you should be able to see that deck played. Um, I might also bring that over to the YouTube channel itself. So... When you're thinking about a start like starter hand or whatnot, you want to make sure that you can play stuff pretty easily. And so this is all pretty low level stuff, and hopefully we'll get better things as we go on. So because I have a bunch of might stuff in my hands, we're going to increase might right away. That should allow me next turn to be able to summon this guy. And this also is the Necropolis area. So, what does Crippling do? Whenever this creature deals attack damage to a creature, put one Crippling counter. That, wow, that's pretty entertaining. So they can do three damage to me if they're up here. This guy's got three. So I wouldn't kill either of them, but I could do damage. I could do two damage next turn. I don't know if it's worth trading. We're going to put it here, give him a free attack, and kind of see where that goes. So the nice thing about putting this here, even though I've taken damage, he's also taken damage because of one of these guys. I'm not entirely sure. So he'll get a crippling thing on him. He can barely hurt me now. I've got enough points to summon something fun. What is incorporeal? Wow, this guy looks like he's a huge pain. So we're going to put him up here and see what he has to do. Because he can kill both of these things since he has a retaliation of two. Unless these guys are immune to retaliate, which... This guy is, but that's okay. Um, we're going to increase. We'll increase this just because I want to be able to use these spells.
No, that's not that's not fun. So, neither of these guys can damage this person. So we're going to try and put them down here so that they have to deal with her. Permanent enchanted creature gains anchored. Prevent all damage dealt to enchanted creature. When damage is prevented, this way destroy the shell. I'm gonna put him here. Let's see what Infect does. Infect, whenever this creature deals damage, put a poison counter on that at the beginning of deal one damage for poison counter. Well, that's fun. So I can poison somebody. So this person's got this guy, which just can't kill her, but if both of them attack, they will. So we're going to put this ice shell on them to see what happens. I think I just lost. Woo! So, I guess I'll fast forward this a bit, or you've just fast forwarded watching me uh, get my butt handed to me. Uh, the game is Duel of Champions. Um, click the link below, and you will be able to play with me. I highly recommend this game. This game scratches all sorts of itches, including the difficulty one. Uh, the Hearthstone difficulty has been kind of lackluster for me. So, with that, uh, thank you for watching. And very soon, all of us will be coming back to talk to you about Monster Hunter, about everything else that you can imagine. Alright, talk to you later.